Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to build an offline AI-powered chatbot that can read and understand PDFs using your local LLM. No API keys, no cloud services, and no cost. Perfect for students, developers, and privacy-focused teams. We'll use Mistral running locally via Alama, Langchain, Facebook AI Similarity Search, Vectorstore, PyMu PDF for PDF parsing. Let's get into it. First, create a new project folder and set up the virtual environment. Open your terminal and install the required Python libraries. We also need Alama to run Mistral locally. If you haven't installed Alama yet, head over to alama.com and install it for your OS. Once installed, pull the Mistral model using this command, Alama pull Mistral. This will download the model to your system and allow you to run it offline. If you want the full guide on how to run Olama locally, check out this video. Find the link in the description. Okay, now create a new Python file, pdfchatbot.py, and place the PDF you want to chat with in the same folder as document.pdf. Now let's look at the Python code. I'll walk you through it step by step. This script will extract text from a PDF, chunk, and embed it using Mistral. Create a face vector store. Let you query it in real time. First off, you'll notice we're bringing in a bunch of libraries at the top. We've got fits from PyMu PDF. That's our go-to for extracting text from PDFs. Then there's OS, a standard Python library we'll use to check if our PDF actually exists. The Langchain Alama bits, specifically Alama LLM and Alama embeddings, are crucial. These are our bridges to the Alama server, which, remember, is running locally on your machine and hosts our Mistral AI model. Alama LLM lets us use Mistral for generating responses, and Alama embeddings helps us convert text into numerical representations that the AI can understand. FICE from Langchain Community Vector Stores is a super efficient library for similarity search. FIAS is a fast vector database that stores our document chunks and allows fast similarity search. We'll be using it to store and quickly search through the content of our PDF. Think of it as a super fast index for all the information in your document. Character Text Splitter from Langchain.TextSplitter is exactly what it sounds like. It helps us break down our long PDF text into smaller, manageable chunks. Why do we do this? Well. Large language models have a limit to how much text they can process at once. And document from langchain.docstore.document is just a simple wrapper for these text chunks, adding some metadata if needed. Finally, rich.console and rich.panel are purely for making our chatbot's output look nice and clean in the terminal, purely for aesthetics, but it makes a big difference in user experience. And Retrieval QA from Langchain.Chains is the magic glue that brings everything together for our question-answering system. Let's move on to our functions. The first one, Extract Text from PDF, is pretty straightforward. You give it a PDF file path, and it uses fits to open the PDF. Then, it iterates through each page, grabs all the text, and stitches it all together into one big string. Simple as that. This is our first step getting the raw information out of the document. Next, we have build vector store. This is where things get a bit more interesting. We take the big chunk of text we just extracted and feed it into our character text splitter. We're telling it to create chunks of 500 characters with an overlap of 50 characters between chunks. This overlap is important because it helps maintain context between the chunks. Imagine if a sentence was split right in the middle. The overlap ensures both chunks have a part of it. Each of these chunks then becomes a document object. Now for each of these document chunks, we use a llama embeddings with the Mistral model. What this does is convert each text chunk into a dense numerical vector, essentially a list of numbers that represents the meaning of that text. This is what we call an embedding. These embeddings are then stored in our FIES vector store. When you ask a question later, your question will also be converted into an embedding and FACE will quickly find the text chunks whose embeddings are most similar to your question's embedding. This is how the AI finds the relevant parts of the PDF to answer your query. Then we have load QA chain. This function sets up the actual question answering mechanism. We initialize Olama LLM again, specifying Mistral as our language model. This is the brain of our chatbot, the part that understands your question and generates the answer. We then create a retrieval QA chain. 
This chain takes our Mistral, LLM, and the vector store we just built. The vector store dot as retriever part means that our phi store will be used to retrieve the most relevant document chunks based on your question. So when you ask a question, the retriever fetches the best chunks and the LLM then uses those chunks to formulate an answer. Finally, the main function is where all the action happens and it's what runs when you execute the script. First, we give a nice welcome message using rich.console to make it look professional. We define our PDF path as document.pdf. This means you need to have a PDF file named document.pdf in the same directory as your script for it to work. We then do a quick check to make sure that PDF actually exists. If it doesn't, we print an error and stop. If the PDF is found, we tell you that we're extracting text, then call our extract text from PDF function. Once that's done, we move on to creating the vector store, calling build vector store. These steps might take a moment, especially for larger PDFs. So we give you some progress messages. Once the vector store is built, we let you know the chatbot is ready. We then load our QA chain using load QA chain. And now the interactive part. We enter an infinite loop, prompting user with you. You can type your questions here. If you type exit or quit, the loop breaks and the program ends. Otherwise, your question is passed to QA.invoke, which triggers the entire process. Your question is embedded, relevant chunks are retrieved from the vector store, and Mistral then uses those chunks to formulate an answer. The answer is then nicely displayed in a panel, thanks to Rich. Now run your chatbot. So in essence, we're taking a PDF, breaking it down, turning its content into a searchable database of meanings, and then using our local AI model, Mistral, to understand the questions and find the most relevant information within that database to give answers. All offline, all on your machine, it's pretty powerful stuff, isn't it? You'll see offline PDF AI chatbot and you're ready to start chatting. It is time to see it in action. Okay, I have opened the project root folder in the terminal. First, activate the virtual environment. Now we can run our PDF chatbot. You'll see offline PDF AI chatbot. And it says extracting text from PDF. This is where it's reading through the entire PDF document pulling out all the text, then creating vector store. This part is essentially building an index of the PDF's content so it can quickly find relevant information when I ask questions. And there it is. Ready, ask me anything about the PDF. That means it's good to go. Now I've loaded a PDF called ML for Beginners from Microsoft, which is a really helpful guide to machine learning. Let's start with a basic question. I'll type, what is machine learning? it will take some time to answer, depending on the question, so wait for it. Here is the answer. The bot provides a comprehensive answer, explaining that machine learning is a subset of AI that allows computer systems to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. It even goes on to describe the three main types, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning, along with some common applications. That's a great summary right from the document. Next, let's try something a bit more specific. In the document, we can see a section on building a model. So let's ask, list out the steps to build a model. Perfect. It provides a numbered list, starting from problem definition all the way to monitoring and maintenance. This is incredibly useful for quickly grasping the entire workflow without having to scroll through pages of a PDF. Let's dive into some specific algorithms. The PDF covers various ML techniques, like regression techniques. Let's ask about logistic regression. Explain the logistic regression. And there you have it. The bot clearly explains that logistic regression is a statistical model primarily used for binary classification problems, and so on. It even includes the mathematical representation of the sigmoid function, which is fantastic for a quick reference. This really highlights how it extracts and summarizes specific technical details. Sometimes, choosing the right algorithm can be tricky. The PDF has a section on choosing a classifier. Let's see if the PDF offers guidance on that. Let's ask, how to choose a classifier? Wow, this is thorough. It provides 10 steps, starting with understanding your dataset and problem, going through splitting the dataset, Start with simple models, experimenting with different classifiers, evaluating performance, 
hyperparameter tuning, cross-validation, considering ensembling, and even evaluating interpretability and iterate to improve. This is incredibly helpful for anyone trying to navigate model selection. Since the document is covering different types of clustering algorithms, let's explore k-means clustering. Okay, so I'll ask, explain k-means clustering. Excellent. It outlines k-means clustering as a popular unsupervised algorithm for grouping data points. It breaks down the process into five clear steps. Initializing centroids, assigning data points, recalculating means, repeating until convergence, and the final result. It also lists common applications, showing its practical utility. Next, let's ask a simple question. The document is covering the topic of NLP. Let's ask for its full form. What is the full form of NLP? And there it is, natural language processing. It even adds a helpful clarification that it can mean neuro-linguistic programming in a different context, which just shows how smart this bot is at understanding the context of the PDF. Lastly, let's look at another important area, reinforcement learning. The document covered the topic of reinforcement learning and Q-learning. Let's ask, what is Q-learning? The bot explains that Q-learning is a machine learning algorithm used for solving reinforcement learning problems. It details how an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment, focusing on finding the optimal action value function to maximize rewards. It's concise and to the point, giving me exactly what I need to know about it from the document. So as you can see, this offline PDF AI chatbot is a really powerful tool for quickly extracting information and understanding complex documents. It's like having an expert on call for any PDF you're reading. Pretty neat, right? What do you think? Would a tool like this be useful for your own document analysis? We just built a fully offline intelligent PDF chatbot powered by open source LLMs and Langchain. Works 100% offline. Replace Mistral with other Olama supported models like Llama 2 or Kotalama. Great for research papers, contracts, manuals, etc. This setup is great for privacy, offline use, or simply reducing dependency on external APIs. Drop your questions or ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy coding.